My grandma told me if you ain't got nothing worth saying, then don't speak. So with me being blessed with the gift of gab, notice I said the gift. The first word is gift. A gift is a blessing from another. Somebody gave me this, so why wouldn't I capitalize from it? Why wouldn't I talk about the things I've seen hands on? My testimony alone could make a lost soul get their mind right, you know? You can learn from me. Why wouldn't you? Live through me. Take my word for face value. I wouldn't lie to you. Gift of gab. After this tour, you two are gonna be the bomb. You're gonna blow up. Trust me. Trust me. Now you're gonna remember to listen to that tape I gave you, right? Of course. I listen to anything worth holding on to, and believe me, y'all two definitely got something I got to get my hands on. Word up, you know? Talent scouting again, huh? <laughs> Play. You workaholic. You know what? I gotta take care of something real quick. I get right back at you. We gonna get into this. We gonna get into this. Yeah, you good. Well, ain't that a bitch? All right. Well, let's get to why we here. Ken, ladies and ashtrays, ladies and gentlemen. Candy, ladies and ashtrays. Uh, this is Rendezvous with the W. Flying through. Uh, you know, I like the moonlight on the crew. They don't even know what I'm doing right now. I always say that, but I think by now they 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 kind of figure that. But it's cool. I'm still gonna do me. Uh, Lois Snooty, ladies and gentlemen, Lois Snooty, uh, on the line tonight, I got Lois Lane, you know what I'm saying, um, people been ranting and raving, so I gotta keep her coming back, and even if y'all weren't fucking with her, I'm still bringing her back, fuck y'all, um, and then, Boss Chick, Boss Chick, we got a new one coming through, we gonna break a chair tonight, <laughs> podcasting that is, podcasting, so, um, Lois, talk to him, how you doing tonight? I'm wonderful. Hi, everyone. No, I'm sorry. Let's go back to the old boys. Everyone's, everyone's. Hello. <laughs> all right, all right. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. All right, so um, let them hear your voice. Uh, Boss Chick, where you at? Talk to him. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Hope all's well out there with everybody. Um, first time coming through, so... um. Hopefully on this one. Oh yeah, no, nah, none of that. Um, are you far in the podcast? You you do you listen to any kind of podcasting or do you know what podcasting is? Heard of it, don't really um have time to do anything outside of, you know, the norm. You don't lost your mind. And uh speaking of tongues, like I said, you two are gonna be big. This is uh, Rendezvous with the W, you know, y'all can reach us, snootybagpod, gmail.com, snootybagpod at gmail.com, or on the Facebook page, um, Candy Ladies and Ashtrays, uh, Candy Ladies and Symbol, uh, Ashtrays with a Z, um, yo, you know, subscribe, feedback, comment, all that, fuck with us. So, on this show, we like to do, um, relationships. Uh, sexual topics, uh, loose talk, you know, we hold no bars, um, and I like to try to give people scenarios, uh, open-ended questions, maybe a little yes, no, and then I might hit you with a little something, um, you know, a little surprise at the end, see how the thing's flowing or whatever. So, uh, we here, you know, uh, I ain't gonna, um, hold us up, none, let's all uh, get to the scenario. I call this, uh, bad bitches, dirty houses. Bad bitches. <laughs> And dirty houses. Oh, did I strike a chord? Ooh, ooh. Yes, go ahead. Okay, Please. okay. 
<laughs> well, I'm going to give you a scenario, and I'm going to throw it to y'all, and, and, and y'all tell me what you think. Because I hear a lot of people always talking about these bad bitches, um, and shit, I be seeing them. I ain't going to lie, you know, all the time. At least that's what I, that's, that's what I call them. Um, but are you really a bad bitch if you got a dirty house? So, all right, this is this is this, this is what it is. I'm just get straight to it. So, um, I live in an apartment complex, um, and on the other side of my building, they had an apartment that was vacant, uh, probably for about I don't know, maybe a good six, eight months, damn near close to a year. And um, they remodeled that bit and everything. I mean, hardwood flows. They got that bit looking laid. It's, it's it's really nice. I got to see it because you know it was vacant. They always had the windows open, the blinds open, and stuff, so I could just see how it went. All right, so. It's the, the, these two chicks. They moved in. Um, I was calling them the uh, the double mint twins at one time. You know what I'm saying? Now I call them the ghetto twins. Because, like, the way this damn apartment look right now, it is ridiculous. Um, and I've never been in it, but they keep, like I say, they keep their windows kind of, like, open, the blinds open. They keep their, um, it's a sliding kind of door, a little porch area where they keep the blinds, like, wide open. Um, you know what? Fuck the apartment. Let me get back to them for a second. I'm jumping. I'm jumping forward too fast. So when I say they some bad bitches, like, and they ain't twins. I can tell one of them look older than the other. But it's like, man, you see them, and man, like on the looks department, they got everything a nigga want. Like I, don't, I haven't seen the flaw. I mean, and everybody got some flaws. You know what I'm saying? She got mites. I don't know. Maybe her, maybe her toes bigger than the other one. The big toes, so I don't know, but I'm just saying she got she gotta have some kind of flaws. What they do, but when you see them, that super thick, that pretty skin, long hair, pretty teeth, pretty eyes, like just just all the way around, you know, like ain't too tall, ain't too short, you know, bend you over, she ain't got the she it just just anyways. I'm just saying, like she she they, they on point. I see them. You know, and my mom walking my dog and all this type of stuff, and I'm like, okay, okay, we got some new neighbors, you know, need some sugar, need some, need, need something. I'm, I'm, I'm neighborly. I'm that kind of guy, you know. I ain't too, I ain't too friendly, but you know, I can feel look. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm snooty. I'm harmless. I ain't gonna hurt nobody. But um, so I say all that to say that they've been here for about four months, and. Now, like, even from the outside of the apartment, man, you can just tell they, like, so fucking nasty. When I say, see, there's a difference between, in my opinion, there's a difference between messy, uh, you know, and, and, and dirty and nasty. These bitches nasty. Like, I mean, it's just, just piles of trash all up um, outside the house. The shit got a damn odor. Like, when you look in the apartment, like, you could just tell how that shit just run down. And I'm like, in four fucking months, how, how, how in the hell, like, did y'all do this? But then when you come out, anytime I see you, you lay. You, 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 you lay, like, to the nines. Like, everything on point, man. Like, I don't get it. So, the, 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 the thing I'm, I'm trying to get at is this. Can you really be, be considered a bad bitch if when you come out of your house, you looking like, you know, 10, 25, whatever, the, whatever your number scale is. You're looking like super bad. But then you come to your house or your car and the inside of that shit is like you just got stuff all every fucking way, man. And I, I, I'm going to throw this out there. I know people, you know, you might have kids and stuff like that. So you might have some toys around or, you know, maybe spill some juice or something or just, just you know, little random shit. I get that part. But... Man, it's just, just, just the nastiness on a whole nother level to me. So, I done rapped a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to throw that to y'all. What, 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 what do you think of that scenario? Talk to me. Well, I mean, I, when I think of a bad chick, I think of her appearance. I don't think of anything else. I think of her appearance. I mean, because, like you say, when you say, you know... Man, that chick bad. You basing it off of her appearance. So I don't think she would lose her title of being a bad chick because your house is nasty. You know, because if you bad, you bad. Now, you know, keeping your house clean or, you know, because your car is dirty or whatever, that says a lot about your personality. But that's, I don't think of that being the definition of a, a bad chick. That's just her outer appearance. 
So, you know, if, if, if her, you know, her, she a 10, a dime all the way, that is how she looks on the outside. That has nothing to do with how she keeps her house or how she keeps her car. So, I would say she could still keep her title as a bad chick, even though her house, she ain't the cleanest. Hmm, that's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. Lois, what you got for that? So, um, I kind of agree, but at the same time, I'm going to go a little further. I consider her a bad, dirty bitch. Hmm. Um, like, like Boss Chick said, it's the appearance. And people from the outside, they, they would never know how that bad bitch is living. We know she dirty. You know, people who's close to her know that she's dirty. But social media has fucked up everything. So the morals, uh, the priorities... A lot of that shit is out the window now. People are not even looking at that. And to feedback off of what Boss Chick just said, a when you say a bad bitch, all you're really looking at is the outward appearance. You don't necessarily hear a guy say, damn, she look like she's smart. She look like she got a good credit score. Like, no, they looking at like, damn, I wonder if that ass off, like, you know, she, she stacked right. Everything about it is right. However, when if I'm going to label someone, I want them to be the whole package. I'm sorry. That's just, that's me. I feel like you can't really be that, that grade A that you're uh, portraying to be when deep down you got a whole lot of messy shit going on. Yeah, you can look nice on the outside. I'll give you that, but how can you really be what they call that bad bitch, bad and bougie, when you really bad and dirty? <sighs> okay, okay. I hear y'all. I do. But from a nigga perspective, in my opinion, yeah, like... I ain't trying to hear that shit! <laughs> well, I, ain't, I, I ain't saying that we ain't trying to hear that shit, but I will say this. <laughs> like, if you a bad bitch, I'm at you. I'm trying to get you. I'm trying to fuck. Like, so... Let's say I get you, but we go back to your spot. I'm looking around now, like, like I mean, this, this, this shit ain't adding up because I'm looking at you. I see how you look, like, like ain't not now hair out of place. But then we get to your house, and this shit look but like me and no, this shit like that. Really looking around like that though. Okay, so now watch this. So if we just like, it depends on the situation, because my thing is like, yeah, hey, if you're just trying to smash. A nigga gonna just smash. I'm gonna be real. But for the long haul, like, like, like no more. well, what I'm saying, okay. Tell the boy, hey, she was bad, but dog, her house, dog, they don't talk okay. about you after the fact. Okay, so you making my point for me then, because like, if you say we just going off a of look, and now everybody look at her and like, okay, yeah, you see her, but then this nigga done actually been over there and chilled with her, and now the word going around that, man, she don't, she, her shit ain't up the uh, ain't up the par. I think that that would take her down a few pegs. I don't think that, I, I think that now people would, would say she's a bad bitch with a caveat. In, in, in parentheses, oh, she's a bad bitch. However, man, that's how, the well? house, how, the house smell like, like shit. Um, I don't, and I don't mean like shit literally. I mean, just, it just got this, this, this nasty ass smell you know, to like, it. Like oh, oh, you need to just open the goddamn window, let some fresh air in this bitch. Um, it's just dirty. I mean, but then again, you know what? Everybody has different um, levels of what dirty is because I think that might be subjective. You know what I'm saying? What I might think is nasty or dirty, another person might not. So a nigga who might be nasty and see this, like this the norm for him compared to somebody who's looking at this shit like, man, you tripping. So I think we might need to make, well, I don't know if we got to go that deep as to define what dirty is, but I mean, do y'all want to throw out some examples of what y'all might think is dirty, like a dirty house? I mean, if I can't walk straight through without stepping over shit, it's dirty. Okay, but see, you it's say stepping dirty over or shit. Dirty things that's out of place. No, that's what you know. You might have been goes. doing laundry on your way out it's, the door. So God, if you, oh my God, God, that's another thing that gets me. Well, people, people know they damn house be out of order and dirty. 
Mm-hmm. You know the one thing they say when you, before you walk in the door. Oh, you got y'all already know. In the house. Excuse the mess. <laughs> you already knew that, so you invited me in this dirty motherfucker. You knew. But, they, but they're comfortable with that. And you did make a great point right there with the like, okay, I'm doing laundry or I, I mean, I'm, you know, I need to fold up these clothes, they everywhere and stuff like that. So you say when you walk through, Lois, you say if you're walking through and you got to step over stuff, I can't understand that. But I think that might be messy compared to like dirty or nasty because, but you're talking about I, stepping on pizza boxes I, and shit? What, what, what are you talking about? Yeah. Yes, so, I'm talking about okay, so, I'm sorry, I should I should have been trash more- running all over and shit. You like the you yeah. stepping over trash and shit. Okay. Yeah, and that's what I'm, I'm talking about. Like, like with these with these chicks doing dirty as hell, like you know if it I mean Bitch, you, you got that black ring. That that damn yeah, black ring around it. No. You know, if a chicks, you know, chicks some chicks wear panty liners, some chicks don't, but you know, you got your little liners and stuff all out. Like, you know, they might be in the trash with a little paper on the side. And, so, you know, you depending on how, how hard you work that day, you know, that shit shouldn't be out. Or, you know, you got little uh, tampon wrappers. Or you, that's nasty. That's dirty. You know, so I, I won't even use your bathroom if I walk in there. I'm like, you know what? Don't worry about it. You, no, nah, I'm good. I'm, you know, I'm holding it. So, that's nasty. <laughs> hey, say my mom. <laughs> really, nigga don't give a damn about now. One of these bitches, man. You feel what I'm saying? Bitch gonna do she do, man. You dig know what I'm saying? Which one of these bitches paying your bill? You dig know what I'm saying? Which one of these bitches getting you some money? Yeah, man. Fuck that bitch, man. You better get you a bankroll. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all that. You know what I'm saying? All that. Popping and flitzing, man. Bitch ain't giving you nothing, man. You getting this bitch, man. You know what I mean? You better make sure that bitch giving you a bankroll, punk. You know what I'm saying? You all ain't talking about nothing, man. You know what I mean? You trying to get in your pocket. Man, you right here popping and capping, man. I ain't bitch can't get shit, man. Can't the bus away, bitch. I want $25. It is. It could be a real Yeah, it could be random. Hey, you know, um, meet me to the house or... Yeah, I'm in town. Oh, well, shit, come on over. Like, you don't have time to clean up. Uh-huh. But it's always A1. Now, there's a difference between, like you say, a little mess, a little clutter. Like, you can tell when a person is in the middle of doing something. Hey, I'm going through these old files. Um, I'm in here sorting laundry. You know, that's excusable. You can tell the difference. But if I go to your house three times, I'm going to give you three. No, I mean, depending on how nasty it is. Like, if it's nasty that first time, I don't, I don't know about that. But if it's just a little clutter, if you tell me three times to excuse the mess, I'm starting to think that your shit always dirty. It ain't no excuse or nothing. So would you go to his house if you went and the roaches came out and told you hello? They greeted you at the door? Would you go back? I ain't gonna be able to do it. Look, not not even a him. It could be a home girl. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Cause I'm not trying to leave with nothing that I didn't come there with. Now Shit, see, I, I don't I be I don't try to make it obvious. But me, I mean, I I will come if if it's a home girl, you know, I'm I already know my home girl got roaches. So, you know, I'ma just go in with myself. I'm not taking no purse in, nothing where they can, you know, Go back home with me. So I'm, I'm going to sit there and sit, but I'm sitting on the edge. If I'm even sitting down, I'm standing up, and I'm barely leaning on the wall. Bitch, I'm inviting hey, you to my house. I'm going to get you to come to my house. I'm going to uh, lure you in with snacks and shit. Girl, come over here. I got some drinks. I got some, some food in here. Listen. You should be. You should be. Tra- ro- 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 I'm about to say, roaches travel, and now you're talking about you got snacks and goodies at your spot. Uh, what you mean? They moving in. They coming. They coming with her. Ooh, you sure? Me? <laughs> Listen, have you ever seen a roach fly out somebody's bag? No, I've seen them crawl a lot, though. Matter of fact, I had a, I had a, um, a person that I was assisting on my job. <laughs> and she was so funny, little old lady. But she was so funny. She was on the project side of the town. No, 
disrespect to the project or whatever, but that's just where she lived. And you could tell she was used to it. She was giving me her money. And her little friend came out and said hello. And she tried to scoop him back in the purse real quick. But, you know, they had look quick. So, you know, he wound up, you know, around the little store or whatever. So, you know, I had I have a, a bougie um, co-worker. Whole thing, she, she's not from this country. So, over there, I don't know what they call him. But she was like, um... What is that? So I, I had to explain to her what a roach was. And, um, but yeah, so, no, I had to have one fly out. Wait but a I, minute. I ain't let that slide. I didn't know hold what on. a roach was. No, I ain't even talking about that. I, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, she tried to scoop it back in the purse. Thank you. Thank you. She tried to scoop it back in the purse. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, bougie like that. I, I know what a roach is and what I'm like. Did you really just have to put that shit like in your purse? Gang, you think really? like, if you say you see it, you kill that bitch right in the way, you trying to scoop him back in. Like, yeah. Cut that shit got, the like, fuck like out, the man. Like, like, I'm about to see it real quick. I'm like, right. I'm that shit. Oh, and see, like see, that, that, that right there outside. remind me of a situation where, like, Okay, you might be over somebody's house. You might not even know they got roaches. They know they got roaches, but you might not know they got roaches. And y'all chilling or whatever. Y'all watching TV or something. That roach just start crawling across the goddamn TV. Like, we both see this shit. Ain't nobody going to say nothing. Ain't nobody going to try to kill it. Like, like what what we doing right now? <laughs> I ain't going to say shit. I'm going to act like I don't see it. I'm, I'm, I'm really not. I, I'm that person. I'm going to sit down. I'm not going to say a damn thing because I know you see this shit. But I ain't going to say nothing because it ain't my place. It depends okay. on who the person is, what type of relationship I have with that individual. Um, I because I I'm have... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, fuck it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I can get up on TLU, it's, it's like 100,000 more of y'all in, this, in, in the wall. Yeah, I'm that's not real. Spend my day killing roaches. I'm just gonna get my shit and go home. Yo, fresh, you ready? Watch the I'm ready, man. Let me do this. What, what? Shit. So, yeah, we don't been on that for a little minute, man. Let's switch up the temperature a little bit. Uh, uh, thank you. I was just about to say this. I was Okay, so I got something for you. Oh, okay. Um, Talk to me. Yeah. yeah. Matter of fact, um, I think I, I want bullshit to, to, to answer this one funny. Um, whole fact. Yes, you say heard that, me say that, one, say, say, say that one more time. I don't think the people heard you. Like, 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 like say, it, say it clearly, slowly, what you say? I said your goddamn whole facts. Not no car facts, your whole facts. Because we know some, you know, we all have a past. Some people's past are just a little darker than others. I bet you had the whole lot of rabbits just to make ends meet. I beg your pardon. Oh, oh, oh. I knew I knew you. Damn it, your hell, I knew your face was for me to me. Man, back in the day, your wife just sucked the meanest. Well, I know you know you're a lucky man. <laughs> you scum-sucking son of a bitch. That's my whole you to, uh, my wife you talking about. Listen, you, listen, listen, you, listen you here. Get back. Get back. Step, Step back, Satan. Step Let me bury your no. ass. No. Oh, so oh, I get you Now I remember. I even remember your name. They should call you Jawbone. Wow. Do something about me. Sit down, Miss Hazel. Who you talking to? Talking to you. Look, don't you talk about, don't you talk about you, you and your mama, which ain't your black, dusty, rusty ass. Whoa! My mama did. Now I got to cut you. That's the rule. Cut you, cut you, cut you, cut you. Oh, oh, oh. So, with that being said, um, I have a question. How long, or does, not even how long, does your whole facts get erased? This ain't no damn credit report. It ain't after seven years it's gone. That shit follow you a long time. <laughs> you mean to tell me uh, 
Equifax not going to start reporting, like, okay, you, you got good behavior now. Like, you don't stop, you know, fucking for the um lunch money. Like, now you trying to be, you know, that, that good girl. Like, you got a different image now. You not wearing the, the little kid clothes. Now you don't start shopping in the women's department. Equifax ain't going to report that on your uh, whole fact. Y'all, you use a lifetime home. <laughs> and everybody's gonna know. No, because oh, no. <laughs> you still got those tendencies. That, that's public record. Anybody can pull up and find that out. Be like, damn. You know, that's just like when you go to the car, you be like, I want that one right there. That'd be clean. Inside, outside. Look at the paint. You know what I'm saying? You evaluate. I want that one. You be ready. You have your money. You be like, yeah, go ahead and do the paperwork on that. Then as soon as you get that equal facts and you find out it's done been ran through, it's done been through the mud and back, it's done been flooded, they done redid this, redid that, all these problems. All You like, I don't want that shit. Don't worry about it. It looks good, but I don't want that. Hell no, let me find some that ain't got all these incidents. Let me get some that's down there clean and free, free. And if it do have some on the report, like some minor shit, like a little scratch here, so we had to go take it to the paint job. Or, you know what I'm saying? You want some shit that's done being kept. The oil change, you know, the maintenance on it. You know, you take it and you do everything that needs to be done. You kept it up. You want something that's been kept. So that's going to be dependable. You don't want no shit that everybody done had. It got four, five, six owners. Got all these issues, all these problems. You be like, no, nah, I don't even want that. I don't want those problems. So, uh-uh. Same thing go for you. Like, okay, well, you you appear to be nice. But when I, when I actually evaluate the whole situation and I get to know you and shit like that, oh, you, you, you still fucked up. You still, uh-uh, no. So you, you always the hoe. It's in you. Because nobody, I mean, you can't really turn over no leaf from being no hoe. Because okay, boss, the boss you chick. Get, you gonna so be boss chick, boss chick, I got a question for you. And Lois Lane, I got a question for you. Um, okay. So, Lois Lane, where does this question stem from? Like, do you have any type of scenario? Or do you, or like, where does this come from? And also, boss chick, hmm, okay. Does that apply to women or men or both? Both. Okay. Especially men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but we, we know that we do hold women um accountable more. Like women cannot do nearly as much as a, a guy can do without being talked about. Hell, if a woman is going on a date with two different guys she gotta be a hoe she can't i mean she may not even be fucking both of them but the the outside world wouldn't know that they just see oh she's you know chatting it up with these two guys so she automatically gets labeled so it's a double standard like a mug um snooty okay back to your question where did this whole facts come from um who so, I got a, a little scenario for y'all. Have you ever seen a person, they, they had this, this whole fact, you know, they, they had a past. Um, you know, a past that's darker than some. And they decided they didn't want to live that life anymore. So they, you know, start going to church or, you know, stop um, being so friendly with the, um, the pocketbook. You know, we're speaking on ladies. You know, they're not just inviting anybody into the cookie jar. And and now, all of a sudden, they they want to be treated differently. You know, they they carry themselves um, and with that, that high bougie um, attitude. You know, sometimes they even go as far as moving away. Or they get a dude oh, from out of town. You got to move out of town for that. Yeah. Well, don't nobody I mean, know you. you. you you move out of town or you get you a, a dude from from out of town who, who don't know you and you can live that type of life 
that you, you know, always wanted because they don't know about your whole fact. Question. How long, I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say how long, um, as, as far as the, the, the whole facts go, would you want, listen now, listen to this, if, if this is your partner, someone who you're trying to be in a relationship with, would you be okay with them having um, a long rap sheet in their past? I would. I'm just going to take you to the clinic, make sure you're free and clear. And I'm going to watch very closely. I mean, I'm going to observe carefully to see, you know, because I feel it's still going to be in the back of your mind like, damn, this bitch will relapse at any time. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, so what What about a, a sexual partner? Like, you're not trying to have a full-fledged relationship with this person. You just, I mean, it is what it is. Would you be okay with that? Would you want, as long as you're free and clear. Okay, that. but would you would you want that person to to have a a long rap sheet, or would you want them to not have so many bodies up under their belt? If we just talking, if as long as you're free and clear, I don't give a damn. Uh, okay, in relationship, the same. I mean, would you yes, want to you got a long rap sheet? I mean, because you know sometimes that friends will benefit. <laughs> They wind up catching feelings and shit. Now, I'm saying you don't want nobody else getting the milk and jacket. Yes. So, um, I just, I'm cool with it. You know, it's just, if we were to take it to a relationship level, all that other shit got to see. I came in the house the other day, man, at 1.30 in the morning. The two-year-old going to send the faggot downstairs for some milk and cookies. I'm going upstairs. He coming down. He going to walk past me like I'm a visitor. I said, where you going? He said, to get some milk and cookies. <laughs> he said it so funny, I wanted to hear it again. I said, get some what? He said, some milk and cookies. <laughs> I love the motherfucker, but he's a faggot, you know. I told him, I said, man, it's too goddamn late for some damn cookies and milk, man. Take your punk ass upstairs and get some rest. That's how I talk to him. Fuck that time out shit. I ain't got time for these bad ass kids. These kids will kill you. They gonna kill me. I'm gonna kill them. I can see y'all reading Jed and Ebony right now. I can hear you talking. It's a shame how Bernie fucked up those damn kids. I can't get no rest. They walk around the house three, four o'clock in the morning. Got their finger under my nose, seeing if I'm breathing, all that kind of shit. Then the son of this man gonna sit up there. She gonna go upstairs. The two-year-old, or her the two-year-old say, where the cookies and shit? <laughs> he gonna tell her him downstairs. Who the fuck is him? Like I ain't got no name or something. Him downstairs. The two-year-old said, well, I go get this shit myself. She gonna walk her little bull ass down there. I'm standing in the corner. I watch her get a little step ladder. She gonna go on over the refrigerator. I said, what the fuck you doing? She looked at me, I'm gonna get some milk and cook. I said, didn't I tell your punk ass boy he couldn't handle no goddamn cook? Are uh, you listening when I tell the faggot he couldn't handle? Uh, now I'm telling your short ass he can't handle no goddamn milk cook. Get your punk ass up there before you get fucked up around right here. Okay, it's new. Please, goddamn. Heard somebody call my name. What'd you say? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I need you to nah, chime I, in I, on I, I, Well, yeah, I, I was just letting y'all cook for a little bit. Um. Nah, me, yeah, me and Boss shit kind of in the same uh, situation, man, because, like, this is my thing. If I'm just trying to smash, like, if I'm trying to fuck, uh, as long as your pussy clean, that's really where it stops. You know what I'm saying? As long as you, long as you got good hygiene, your pussy clean, you know, like you say, everything is uh, running in order. Uh, yeah, we should, we, we good. But then, you know, when that happens a lot of times, especially if it's constantly happening and, you know, y'all in the thick of things, you know, sometimes it get a little bit stronger than what you thought it was going to be, you know, so... That can kind of go into a relationship. Um, I'm telling you what it is that that STD called feelings. That's the yeah. shit nobody gonna talk about. That's real. That's real. But I'll say this: I feel like damn near everybody got a pass. Um, you know, sometimes you get a little, sometimes you get a good girl, sometimes you don't. But everybody got a pass. So when it comes to that, because like I, you know, I ain't I ain't gonna be all high and mighty and and, and be like, okay, she can't have a pass tonight and. and 
and I got a pass. So uh, it's tough. It's tough because the guy in me says that, okay, yes, if I had a preference and I'm talking about relationship, then yes, yeah, she got to have low mileage. She got to have low bodies, you know, but shit happened. Shit happened. That, that, that's the best way I can say it. Shit really do happen, man. You know, so I prefer that, yeah, low mileage, but at the same time, what I don't know is what I don't know. So I, I, I can't be hurt by what I don't know. So I'll say this. If I know niggas who done, who done been with you, that's going to be tough for me. And I ain't saying like a few. I mean, like, I know quite a few niggas who done been with you That'll be tough for me in the long run. Now, I ain't saying I wouldn't smash. Most definitely, I ain't saying I wouldn't smash. But I would damn near already have to put you in the category. So, and but, 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 see, you hear me, you hear me. I'm, 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 I'm tap dancing over here. But at the same time, if we is smashing, we going through it, we in the rhythm of things and shit, you know, good and it's popping. It's more than just the sex because, I mean, after I smash, you got to bring more to the table than that because, I mean, you know, it just that that is what it is. The, the sex is what get me there, but that ain't what's gonna keep me there. Um, so if things are really like good, then I could maybe overlook that. But it's hard, it's tough because if we in public and I see a nigga that I know you don't fuck, that's gonna be tough for me. So yeah, like you said, you gotta move somewhere else or something. You know, start fresh, and a nigga don't know your past, and you probably be good. You know, but this. That's why I am on that. But, you know, I was talking about um, the sex aspect is one thing. When it comes to the relationship, if I had a preference, yes, I want the one with the low bodies, you know. But then again, low bodies might be no experience. You know, we got to be electric in this thing. I need you like, you know, I'm jumping from the, I'm jumping from the dresser. I'm swinging from the fans. So I need shit to be popping. So See, that's what I was going to ask. When you like for your girl... Thing. That have an inner whore in her? Oh, yeah, but see, that was part of that bad bitch thing. Well, um, see, we ain't really going into details. To me, that bad bitch, she going to be a lady in the streets. But in these sheets, man, she hmm. definitely got to be a freak. You know what I'm saying? Hold yourself hold yourself yeah. accordingly when we out here. You know, hold a nigga down. You know, be respectful of, of, about yourself and all that type of stuff. But when it's time to, like, you know, we, we, we here eye to eye, let's go. It's go time, bitch. You know? So, it just depends, you know, it, 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 it's, it's different for everybody, I can't speak for every guy, but in, in my opinion, you want that, but let me, let me throw this out here too, see, I'm to I'm, I'm tap toeing, I'm tip-toeing around this shit, I can't stand on the concrete for nothing, because you might say, okay, a person who has had a lot of partners, you might want to say they have a lot of experience. But then you could also say, well, shit, it might have been this chick that only been with, like, three dudes. But, shit, she was fucking them all the goddamn time. And they got in tune, and she know, she know a few tricks, too. So I can't just say just because you got a lot of bodies mean you got a lot of experience. And just because you got low bodies mean you got no experience. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's still on an individual basis, in my opinion. Yeah, but I know and, somebody got high bodies. I mean, from what I hear, sex game is garbage. Right, right. But you be damn. fucking up the chain and your sex game still weak. Bitch, well, you wasting everybody's time. Word round town is garbage. Listen, I, I could have had a big piece and shit. Well, but it, it, it may be it may be something about that person that people just like or they find attractive. So when you like, okay, I'll give you an example. Well, well shit, when it comes to niggas, I'll I give you an example. To me, the nines and the tens is the ones that don't have that good jewel, really. Like, they the ones who don't really fuck well. But you get your six, seven, eight, or nine, I mean, six, seven, or eight, maybe even a five or a four, they got to do a little bit more. Up. They say that one more time excuse me okay, who's going that low come again who's going that low <laughs> of course that's, that, that's clearly got to be just a fuck thing ain't nobody from the we seen in public with a damn three or four nothing less but than a five but this is my point this is my point if they that low and ain't nobody want to see you in public you got to do a lot more to keep me around 
So they go, they, they might know how to really throw that thing. Oh, well, come on. Let's be real. You know we treat people different by the way they look. Come on, now. Don't do that. Don't be that naive. That's now, you know we treat people that's different. That's just the harsh reality. Of course. Oh, come on. I, I, I always got to go that extra mile. Man, I give this example all the time. Let's go back to that car incident. I see a, 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 a pretty girl over there. She like, what, a 9 or a 10? And she crying by my car. She over there crying, like, boo-hooing, boo, crying. I'm finna go over there and say, what's up, damn, baby? What's up? You all right? You know, she, I'm going to talk to her. I'm, I'm going to try to console her. Might try to do a little something else, but I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help her out. Man, you get like a 4 or 5, that booger wolf over there crying by my car, man. I ain't even walking over there. Hey. Get the, get, get the fuck away from my car, man. What are you doing? <laughs> like, I'm just saying, same situation, same situation, <laughs> but it depends on how you look. It's how I'm going to react. That's just how it goes. I'm sorry. That's life. <laughs> get with it or get rolled over. That's life. So, we, we treat them different, man. We treat them different. That's all I'm saying. So, I mean, I know I rambled. I know I rambled and I did a little toe tapping, but I, I think y'all could agree with that. You know, with, yeah. with oh, when yeah. it comes to the okay, 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 okay. I got I got a random to slide in on that though, since we're talking about fucking this shit. Uh, mm-hmm. how long do we wait before going raw? <laughs> but I need to go to the clinic first to make sure that I'm able to do that. Stop lying, man! <laughs> <laughs> man, man. You gon' guide that thing in, man. You got it gripping and gliding, man. You gliding me in, man. Like a fighting director. Come on. Okay. In a, in a perfect world, in a, in a perfect world, that would be the, the ideal. That oh, it would if, be. If, yes. If, if you... Um, oh, here y'all go. Here no, no, go. no. Hit me out. Now, hit me out. If, okay, you been chatting up with this person... You know, full of men or whatever. You know that you want to to take it there, or if you may not even know, it's just one of them things. Well, we just just happen to talk about you know our status or something to, to that nature. Um, I can see us setting up a little date or when the last time you got text? When the last time you got text? You know, some shit like that. But in and I gotta take your damn word for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the fucked up part right there. But in the world that we live in, shit mm. just happens. Like, and it I'm does. sorry, shit really does just happen. Now, really nine does. times out of ten, I can honestly say, nine out of ten, um, I will stop your ass. Like, I don't play that shit. Had to learn early. Like, just because you're in this relationship with someone, you're being monogamous does not mean that they are going to treat you the same way. Girl, you better preach. So, they, I mean, you may think you're the only one, or because, hmm. let's say, y'all, y'all just started talking, so y'all, y'all may not be um, fucking just yet. So, you think, mm-hmm. okay, well, it's, you know, I, I know I haven't been with nobody else. Um, I hope he has, you know, we've been spending a lot of time. Man, squash all that. There's a will, there's a way. So it could be going down. And like you just said, um, boss shit, you know, you have to take that person word. But I, I can honestly say that nine times out of ten, I don't care. I mean, I done been tipsy. Shit, I done been drunk. And I'm like, uh, you got something? <laughs> Look, bitch, what you just drunk? Like, hold on, you sober now? You damn right. I'm so real quick. I'll be oh, damn if I'm finna let you go in raw and then when we get through, I'm laying there like, damn, I hope this was true. Looking like one of them hoes on a commercial. Yeah. Yeah. Plan B can't help you run into the soul. Yeah, goodness. Like, damn. Yeah, but it's funny you it's funny you say that because you like, um, I'm talking about shit. You know, your app is all over laying there and saying, damn, I hope this nigga clean and shit. I get that because, you know, it's STD, you know, it could be worse, you know, but, I mean. Um, you can get rid of them. Right, right, exactly, exactly. I get that part. But for a nigga 
that's really where it stops. For you, I mean, unless you just follow your ovulation like that, your ass can be pregnant. <laughs> and I think that's like a whole lot worse sometimes with it, with it because, Let's I mean, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to shut up. You, you right. No, 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 no. I, I'm just going to add on to this because I'm going to tell you the shit that go on in our mind that you may not know. Oh. I know I'm a hundred percent woman, so I done had this shit happen a couple times. You like you are the happiest person alive when you go to that damn bathroom and see that your auntie has arrived. Because in the back of your mind, it's like I know what I did, and I'm just hoping. Like you, you, you want to think about it, but then you don't want to put too much emphasis on it. But in your mind, it's like, man, I'm gonna fuck this nigga up. If, if so, like, granted, it takes two. Both of y'all did this, but in your mind, it's like, damn. And, and you know, you sitting here trying to count. You, you waiting, you waiting, you waiting. But the moment you see Auntie, you fine, and then you mad that she there. You are the happiest person on this earth. That moment you go to the bathroom and you see that auntie is here, then it, it sinks in your head like, shit, okay, well, we know a baby is not in here, but it better not be nothing else. And you be like, you oh, well, I'm, foreign objects in this thing? Yeah, well, I, I don't feel no type of way. Like, I don't got no no itch or no burn or no no nothing. Oh, okay. And the first one like you get, you be like, I'm, this nigga, I'm finna call him. Bitch, you can pump. have a you like, what the fuck is that? You can kill somebody. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> you can yeah. use the wrong soap. Look, sit down some damn work. Your ass done got a hold of some, uh, that, that little, uh, smell good soap. It done got you down there, uh, you know, not mm, feeling you too all good. Woke you all <laughs> uh, You done shaved and a hair going back. Now you got a hair box and you looking crazy. Bitch, you be right here. You look like a I tell you that I've been there. I tell you that I've been there. Straight up. Like what the fuck? Straight the word. Left the word. Everybody know that yes, feeling. <laughs> Look, if, if you don't know that feeling, then mm -hmm. that means you ain't grooming yourself down there. But that's yeah. like the, the most irritating shit is when your hair is growing back. Yeah, that ain't growing. Oh, you better yeah. fucking believe yeah. it, man. That's real. That's real. I remember my whoa, first hair bump, boy. I lost your mind. Three, three opinions. <laughs> first, I asked my hey. mom. I was like, Mom, what is that? She did it. She, she, she was there and calling gynecologist. Lay down, let me see. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn, this girl, you come lay down on the bed and shit, let you see. Nevertheless, she checked the shit. Oh, that's just a hair bump. Oh, oh okay. Take me to the doctor. <laughs> Went to the doctor. The doctor checked me out. Oh, that's just a hair bump. You said that shit too quick. Did you look at it good? I went, I got three opinions, and everybody said the same thing, and that's when I could believe Because, I mean, that was my first hair bump, you know? Because, you know, at the time, you know, my mom wouldn't let me shave and shit, so I had to use scissors to cut my shit, so I had no snip and shit, and, so, you know, I ain't know. Yeah, but I remember that first one. I mean, at the time, you know, I wasn't really doing that, but I wanted to make sure. So, yeah. And then as I got grown, I'm like, you can tell them hair bumps versus that shit you see on the internet. Most definitely. Most yeah. definitely. Yeah. <laughs> this section is brought to you by Val Trek. Val Trek, you ever knocked me? <laughs> I remember the commercial. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Y'all are okay. such responsible adults. Y'all are such responsible adults. <laughs> but I got to say this real quick. I need to point this out. This is the caveat. It's up for me to fuck you wrong. It's up for you to stop me. You to I'm trying to tell you. Exactly. Exactly. I'm just going to be real. A nigga, a nigga going to try you. Like, off real. I'm going yeah, to I'm gonna try you. And if you finna let me slide, we slipping and sliding together. And I'm going to be real. Like, it's been times where, shit, it's the first, maybe second time, and you guide me in. I, I have to stress that. So I'm I'm I I'm I'm listening to y'all, but I'm starting to believe that y'all women might like raw sex a little bit more than these dudes out here. I'm just being real because okay, well, yeah, you say you want to be. Life. 
You know what I'm saying? The feeling different. You know that late chance got a little smell. How your coochie all smelling and like burnt rubber and shit. Like it just it just depends. So keep it raw, man. Keep your blood raw, man. I know we talking, but we on the line, man. People want to know. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. Shame the devil. Second to none, I'm second to none, you nothing. I'm second to none, I'm second to none, you nothing. I'm second to none, I'm next to none, she naked. No disrespect, none, my check long, cause I'm confession. I'm second to none, I'm second to none, you nothing. I'm second to none, I'm second to none, you nothing. I'm second to none, I'm second to none, you nothing. I'm second to none, I'm second to none. I ain't tripping off no nigga, bitch, no night at all. I post a pic and make them sick, our bitches logging out. I'm taking blood straight to the face, she got me nodding out. Check me, hold up. 
My money got real low, pressured me to kill more Every time I did a show in Cleveland, I miss feel though Me and Guapo on the trap, grind, grind real though Niggas dying for that set, we gon' shine still though Giant told me drill they ass and after that I drill more I'm trying to be the Fresh Prince, ain't no Uncle Phil though Boy, they know before the deal, that boy on drove real though And when I drop, I heard they feelin' Kid, they had real so I done gave this shit my all and I'm willing to give more My neck pinky wrist and my chest water, they real glow I told them pussy niggas I'm fast, catch up, they real slow Money don't change me, you won't know if I'm up or real low Money get low, I mean real low But growing bro, I had to draw the line Stop right there now, fuck you, nigga I had to draw the line I had to draw the line on them pussy niggas, you know what I'm saying? Look, babe, I know we done fuck before And you probably want more, but that's where I draw the line I got a real missus at home, six degrees, no pleasure You feel me, I had to draw the line I need them bricks, eh? I need them bricks. Hold up, hey. Nigga, let me wild out. I only vibe with the niggas that I arrive out. How come niggas so humble when they dying out? But when they on they incline, they like, fuck it. I ain't discussing none of you rap niggas. Cause if a nigga get hit, homicide come and knock you. Catch him in traffic, they energy the total opposite. They on some man to man talk shit. Y'all doing it for these bitches. On some flaw shit. Fuck a pretty face, I'm looking for a boss. Bitch. My little thing for bro showed me a hundred thousand. And I swear that gave your boy a hard day. And it don't matter, red bone or chocolate. Spanish, Haitian, Jamaican, your boy gon' rock. Em. When they relationship rocky and toxic, them lines fade away. It be easy to cross. Em. Come here, let me feed you the knowledge. Come, on. Come here, baby, leave me your problem. Bird, oh God, I see us talking dollars on the private island. Why you talking? Let me introduce you to the mind of a monster, baby. Is you down to risk it all? Uh, is you willing to break a bend the law? Uh, Fuck with me if you bout it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thug yeah. with me if you out here. Yeah. I yeah. need me a gangster bitch. Yeah. I gotta keep me a gangster bitch. Yeah. Who keep one up in the chamber? Screaming, yeah. Fuck these niggas, what a paper. I Is a road blunt and a bad bitch Didn't know he would get him a savage Baby, I'm just trying to get the corn Ride him good, then I act like I don't even know him I need a ball, boss nigga, elite and score A real nigga who get money and won't need you wrong Eight balls in my red bottle Strap to me about 40,000 A couple Clorox to get rid of the gunpowder Cause I'm holding him down, girl, I don't want nada He stack that dough and break me off proper I did my time with him I'm standing on the line with him I'm bagging every dime with him That's why a nigga can't tell me shit When that's him out of shake and bring him back that nigga bitch What's more gangster than this? Is you down to risk it all? Is you willing to break up in the law? Fuck with me if you bout it Yeah, fuck with me if you out here the partner like there's a difference between you just hooking up with somebody who you been you know chatting up with like yeah you kind of feeling this person um but i mean when you like real deal know okay i'm in a relationship with this person and you know i i feel like excuse me a lot of times people miss that because they jump into sex so fast but when you actually start you know dating a person and then you establish the fact that we're in a relationship now we're about to introduce sex into our um relationship i don't see nothing wrong with going at it i mean we're adults if, if we're being smart and you know we're honest with ourselves and each other you know, you know, your status, I know my status, um, we good. But one, like I say, it's all about the relationship. You can't just go around here fucking any and everybody raw. That's nasty. I would agree. I would agree. I would agree. 
Boss Chick, what 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 did you think about what Lois Lane just said? Like like you feeling that or not? I, 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 what's your take on that? I mean, I'm I feel a one hundred percent. I mean, hmm. you just can't go just letting everybody just churn ice cream up in you, as my grandma would say. Mm-hmm. You know? I like that. I like your grandma. I like that. I'm about to see that one. Yeah, that old school yeah. ice cream. That was the best. Homemade. Yes, churn. Sir, I like that churn. churn. <laughs> I like that. Churn. Yes, goodness. Can't, can't let everybody churn that ice cream up in you. You know, you got to get one flavor. You can't be like that damn basket robber got 31 flavors of ice cream inside this shit. <laughs> what are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? Look, Sergeant Sausage is present and ready for duty, okay? Prepare for insertion. <laughs> Wait, at least Sergeant Sausage, Vita's is a vegetarian. Look, just calm down. Close your eyes, all right? It ain't gonna take but a minute while oh! I'm up in it. <laughs> So I'm hearing the minute man now, huh? Shit, you knew that going in. <laughs> that makes me feel like both of y'all, I mean, I ain't calling nobody out. I ain't call. I ain't pointing no elbows, no fingers. But, I mean, I shed light on me first before I before I cast it out on y'all. So, but from what y'all just said, I'm just saying, but from what y'all just said, it makes me feel like y'all ain't never on the first time had raw sex. That's from, from what y'all just said. No, it, no, it, it, no. It sound like from the, that's what it sound like, though. I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm listening. So you trying to first tell me on the first quick. time, the first time you ain't never did wrong on the like first time? Let me tell you. I, I, I ain't saying. Okay, okay. Go ahead, go ahead, one, go ahead, Lord. One time, and this is the guy on the truth. Once, and it, it was with um, the person that I'm in a long-term relationship with. Like I just said, it's a difference between, you know, you just, you know, kind of feeling somebody, you know, y'all hooked up after, you know, a short period of time and you actually, you know, taking the time out to get to know this person. Like we were dating first. We established a relationship and then we start having sex. And I mean, I'm going to be honest, like the first time it was... Shit, we had done been in this relationship for a little minute, and there was no um, protection. And to, to be honest, there has never been any protection. I don't, <laughs> this is me personally, but I'm like, how do you go backwards? Like, if you start off with... Oh, ain't no going backwards. I'm going to tell you that ain't no going backwards. Man. I, wish you would, I wish you would try me with that shit. Ain't no going backwards. Like, no, one, one, once we there, we there. Like, what the hell you mean? Mm-hmm. Well, let's say that again. Hold on, I, I couldn't hear you. What'd you say? So then I'm, I'm gonna slap the shit out because I'm gonna be like, wait a minute, you got something to tell me? Like, here there, we use my rubber on and we're saying you talking about you want to put one on. What the, what the fuck? Mm. I'm looking at you side on. You, you sound like the type that if that rubber come off, we go together. That's what that sound yeah. like to me. That rubber come off, we go together. <laughs> we go together. <laughs> Listen, guys, I get... Okay, Lo- Lois has a confession because I'm as I'm talking to y'all, then I had to get quiet for a second because I'm really thinking. I'm like, wait a minute, l- l- let me check my whole facts. Oh, <laughs> look, was that my only time? I just lied to y'all. It- it's happened before. It's happened. So so therefore, this is the the second time. Now the the very first time it happened, um. This person I was also in a, a long-term relationship with. But I remember asking him about it. Now, no, I did not stop him at that time. It, it was actually kind of shocking to me that it happened. You know, we went down, got oral, and I'm used to, you know, guys trying to be slick with it. Bitch, I know you putting on that condom while you down there giving me head. Like, I don't have to see you doing it. Like, I can hear Man. the rapper, oh, I see you. You know, fidgeting around. Um, <laughs> that's just what I was used to with with nah, my ex. Man. Nah, man. I'm trying to slide you straight up. I'm gonna get you nice no. and wet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna slide it's right in. It's something you to yeah, that's it. It's something you to stop me. But you talking about the rubber being put on? I'm talking about no, ain't no rubber being. I'm gonna get you like that's what I'm well, saying. So I you gotta be prepared for either one. See, here's the deal. I was used to to that rubber action with 
the ex before him. Mm -hmm. You know, he, everybody different. So then, <laughs> yes, yes, ex yeah. So I wasn't, you know, examining. I'm like, okay, and I know everyone is not the same, but you know, you moving around down there. But what I wasn't, you know, paying attention to, yeah, he moving around. That bitch just down there taking off his pants. Like it wasn't so you know, putting on anything. So after it was said and done. And I didn't even realize it until he pulled down. And I'm like, God, you jump. You know how you do your little jump back. No, I, I can't, you know, not inside. I got to jump out. I'm like, what the? And then I'm like, wait a minute. This bitch, he don't got on nothing. So we had a conversation. Um, I mean, right then and there. Hey, so you think that was like a wise decision? Like, this what you do? Now, keep in mind, we actually ended up being in a long-term relationship, and, like, we just, look, the three of us just said there is no going back. So after we had that conversation, um, so, you know, every time after that, we did not use protection. It was like, okay, we established the fact that we are in a relationship, um, you know, supposedly a committed relationship, and this is what it is. <coughs> yeah. That look, you heard that. You you called it. Um oh, yeah. So but, but I mean but I mean it gotta feel different though. You know it feel different. Absolutely. Most definitely. Listen, way, I'm just saying, God intended. So if you in a so called yes, sir. If you in a so called committed relationship and some people may say that this is nasty. But if you in a so called committed relationship and y'all always, you know, going in raw or whatever and your dude is there ever an acceptable time to use a condom? And I would say yes for the simple fact that you might have a little um <clears throat> as some would say, a little freak on your hand or whatever, and it might be that time of money, old boy, because you got some dudes don't give a damn. So you know oh, yeah. right now. Oh, no, whoa, 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 no, no, nah, nah, hell no. Nah. I ain't finna let you slide with that one. Because it's a known fact that when y'all on y'all period, y'all are at y'all hornies. So, yeah, you could say it might be a dude that don't give a damn, but I know some chicks who love to fuck on their period. So I just got to point that out. You know, we, hey, hey, what's good for the goose, good for the gambler. So let's keep it fair. Go ahead, though. I'm sorry. I ain't, I ain't mean to cut you off. I ain't, I ain't going to say that I love to do it, but I will give the audience members this tip. Um, When you get in the shower, I don't know what it is about that magical water, but them juices are not flowing down, and you can go back. <laughs> okay, I don't give you a tip for the night. Free of charge. Oh, yeah, that is true, though. You got to, uh, yeah, clean it out real good and it. Yeah, you right about that. I had to think about it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So that is so an exception. I, I like what you first. said there. I like what you said there. Yeah. Like, it's an exception to when you can use that. I think that's like, when you like, okay, so y'all both just brought up two valid points. And from a man's point of view, from my point of view, <laughs> Snooty, uh, if you are on your period and we just, you know, we finna rock it out, then you can go... You, you can go, um, you know, put the, put, put the towel down, whatever, y'all go in the bed, and all that stuff, use the rubber. But if you're in the shower, that shit, you know what I'm saying, you ain't really got to use the rubber in, there, in that instance, in my in, in my opinion. If you, you know, if, I don't if you're use friend, the period, yeah. but I'm just saying, for those who do. Oh, I like, interesting. Interesting. So I'm even when you own, we even when you own. Down, though. No, yeah, okay. even when I'm on, it's no, mm -mm. Yeah, crime scene, okay. All right, ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, yeah, we, we um put the towel down and then we <laughs> gonna take that shower after the fact, though. Yeah, you got to. You better. You better. But then it, I know, I know how it be. Sometimes you just you just want to lay there and you know don't touch me type well, shit. That shit. You better go wipe that shit off. You got. Oh. oh, wait a minute. This I've is been not. This my, is I've not been like my whole life. Hold on, I got a question. I got a question. I've been spoiled my whole life. Who gonna get the rag? It depends. Sometimes I go, like if I ain't too fucked up, I go. But if I'm fucked up, they'll bring me the rag. But sometimes Lois. nigga nerds be fucked up. Okay, yeah, 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 that's real. That's real. Lois, who get the rag? Okay, it, it depends. Um, If we're at my place, I'll get up and get it for you. If we're at your place, I expect you to get up. Like, 
I am actually kind of spoiled. I see. And I'm, I, <laughs> I am. I am. Um, shout out to the to the ex boo. Um, I've gotten so lazy to where I can literally lay there and get wiped up. Like he would get, get the red and clean me up. I'm like, okay, I don't got used to this. Now, don't think that I won't do the same for him because I will. Mm, mm, you just said expect. I, you are I, so so when when you say I, I'm at somebody else's house and I expect, I can't really buy the fact that you would do it for him while you're at his house because you've already laid out the ground rules that you expect for it to get done. So don't contradict no, yourself in the same I'm statement. That's all I'm saying. But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm just. No, I'm gonna tell you the reason. I, if we are on that level, you know, some people you don't feel you don't feel comfortable like you know snooping around their their house like that. Well, I shouldn't even say snooping. You're you're not snooping, but just going through their things. Like after you've been to that house a few times and you're familiar with it, you know where everything is. Then um, I have no problem with getting up, going straight to the the closet, but. I just don't want him to feel like, um, you know, I'm prowling through, through his scene. But like I say, I just, it got to the point where I'm a spoiled brat. Like, I'm used to you getting up. Like I say, unless we're at my place. But every time I was at his place, he would always go get the rag for me. Then he got to the point where, hell, you would even, you know, wipe me up. And I'm like, shit, I ain't never had this happen before. Look, I'm sounding like Day Day. Like, I want to see what that be like. Um, but I'm, I am willing to do the same. Let's just throw that out there. I hear you. I hear you. Okay, okay. I see you cleaned it up. Cleaned it up. Well, um, I mean, I asked both of y'all. I like both of y'all responses, actually. But, man, boss chick, I'm leaning, I'm leaning kind of more to your side on this one. Um. I look at it. I look at it as um, wins and losses. You know, win, win column, loss column. You know, you win some, you lose some, but you live to fight another day. So, in that situation, if I put it down like like I I, I do, and I'm just there, and I don't even really want to be touched, like just 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 let me get in my little over here, in my little corner. I'm just chilling. I'm good. Don't touch me right now. I'm good. Yes, you gotta go get that rag. You gotta go get that rag. Now, if, okay, tonight, shit, you put it on me. Hey, you won. <laughs> I'm going to go get that rag. That's how I look at it. Also, I'm the type of guy, I mean, snooty, I require a warm rag. Don't bring me no cold water rag. I'm going to throw that shit right back at your ass. Like, I need that warm water. You know what I'm saying? Shaft, balls, all that shit. Get me all nice and clean and right. You know, I could get up and go take me a shower, but sometimes you just want to lay there. I get that shit in the morning. I get that shit later. So, Please. you know, get me right. Get me right. I air dry. I'm going to sleep. Well, shit, round two, whatever the case may be. But, you know, that's just how I look at it. So, I'm leaning a little bit more to boss chick. Lois, I hear you, but whether you at his house or not his house, go and get that rag for that man. Quit playing. Love me in the morning. I'm sorry. I am just, I was spoiled. Now, granted, it may not be like that. Like, God forbid, if there is another after um, this, you know, it may not be the same way. But as of right now, I've just been spoiled. So I ain't like mad I said, at that. He, he sounds like he aimed to please. Sounds like he aimed to please. So I ain't mad. Yeah. It's not that I'm not willing to do it because there has been times where I'm like, like you said, okay, when you know that, you know, they won that round, it's like, shit, look, let me go ahead and, <laughs> look, you hungry? You want a sandwich? Well, I'll I'll like <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hey, fuck me, <laughs> fuck me, fuck me, feed me. And if you know how to roll my blunts, oh, man, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have the um I, I don't listen i'm not even gonna you know um lie like that i i am not a roller however it's because he's not a smoker but i say this i don't mind pouring a drink yeah yeah you, you know you, hey, you know your clientele you know what i'm saying you know your clientele yeah. i'll be stressing that you know but that's for the ashtray side of the game you know, that's that's yeah. that's, that's where yeah. the Cam Blades and Ashtrays come in. Shout out to Rennie. Shout, shout out to Rennie Moore and Vizzy FB. 
<laughs> so yeah, I get it. You know how to roll? Um, uh, boss chief, you know how to roll? I sure don't. Okay. You do? Do you? Well, I mean, I ain't trying to get in your business too much, but have you, you ever been with a smoker? You, you slice it down the down the the, the middle or whatever, and you get the little stuff. I mean, I'm sure I could, cause I don't watch a lot. You know. And that's what I'm saying. Are you with? See, it sounds sound like you're willing to learn. Like 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 for the right dudes, you'll learn. You might not smoke, but you 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 you'll learn how to do it for them. Oh hell yeah! I don't know about all that. Oh, okay, okay. So, so, okay, so, so, so Lawrence, you with it, and, and then, and then, and then boss shit ain't. Yeah, yeah. Boss shit, now, me personally, like, I, I'm spoiled. I am. Um, smoke, I ain't gonna even talk to him anyway. I, I, I don't deal with Oh, him. shit. So, if he's a smoker, he just completely out, just, just, just off the rip, even if that you fucking with him on every other level? That's Smo- like 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 smoking cigarettes or smoking weed or just smoking period. 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 Yeah. period. Any I'm particular ass, reason he why? Kill me and shit? Well, 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 well. I mean, cause he's a smoker. I mean, he got to smoke around you. I don't like. I just. I don't. Um. I don't like dating smokers. Like smoking for me is definitely a deal breaker. I like I that. I like. You got standards. Ain't nothing wrong with that at all. I'm gonna be real with you. It's just. I wouldn't have thought that. I thought that, you know, like, long as they keep it right away from you, what's the big deal? But, I mean, I do understand, hey, you got standards? You ain't fucking with that. That's cool. I just, yeah. Yeah. I don't get it, though. I get it, but I don't get it. You know, I'm a smoker myself, so yeah, that, that, that's why I say that. Because, like, um, Susha, yeah, you know, she don't smoke at all. You know, my wife, she don't smoke at all. But, you know, she don't mind being around it, though, either. She did. She, she, I, I go so far as to say that she never talked to a smoker. Whether they smoke cigarettes, blacks, weed, whatever, she's never talked to a smoker. But yeah, she married a smoker. I've been smoking half my life, at least. So that's that that that's why I asked that. I was a little surprised. Like, hmm. I, I you know, not to say that you gotta smoke. And if they keep it away from you and you feeling that dude, everything else, I don't see the big deal. But if you I'm say you don't like it, to even know you, to know if I'm gonna feel you, because when I find out you smoke, and then I'm gonna know, because I'm a nine times out of ten, I'm gonna look at your hands. I'm, I'm like, oh, this nigga smoke. Uh, uh, I'm just not gonna get to that. I'm not gonna get that far. I like that. You can't go by that though. Um, I'm about to say, how do you how do you know from a smoker's hands? Like, I'm I'm curious on that too. You, you, I, said, you, you, you I mean, I'm digging down this rabbit hole. I gotta know. If you have a smoke a long time, it's something about your fingertips and your fingers. Like, you can tell a smoker by their fingertips and by their looks. Nine okay, times so, out of ten, so, I'm not gonna say always, but nine times well, out of ten, this is looking I'm, burn up for one thing. Not I'm going to tell you why, and I'm going to tell you exactly why. See, I've been smoking for a long time. You can look at my hands right now, you wouldn't know I, I smoked a day in my life. My lips, not at all. And let me tell you why. Those people that you're talking about, they smoke blunts. And the blunts leave residue. They call it resin. So when you are hitting the blunt with your fingers, all that residue, that buildup, that, that, that gunk, that brown shit, it gets on your fingers. Now, you can wash your hands. But when you're hitting the roach, that fire, uh, they call the roach, is the little small, little, little, little joint, little piece once the blunt kind of gets small. When you're hitting that, all that heat is coming through. So it's burning your fingertips. So when you smoke heavy, smoke a lot, and you smoke blunts, that's what's going to happen. And then now that residue from the tip of that blunt that's on your fingers is also on your lips. So you can brush your teeth. You can wash your face. You can do all that stuff. But over time, it builds up. So that's why you see all these dudes with these, these burnt parts and it be all dark around the mouth and all that type of shit. It's because of the resin from a blunt. If they were to smoke joints, if they were to smoke like vapor pens, if they were to smoke like bongs and stuff like that, that would never happen. So just a little just a little ashtray education. You know, we, we, we aim to teach out here. But, but yeah, that's what that is. So that's the reason why you see that. Because I can guarantee you right now, if you looked at my hands, and I, I'm telling you, I've been smoking for at least 17 years. Like, you would not know that I'm a smoker. Now, my lips, um, back in the day, I did smoke blunts. But I don't really smoke blunts no more. So now, they're clearing up. 
So I'm getting that pink back in my lips. I'm getting that the the because if you stop for a while, it it'll start to fade. I don't even know how that happened, but it'll start to fade away. Your your, your pigment in your skin will start to come back. So that, that that this is the only reason I'm asking these questions because I hear what you're saying. But if 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 you was to get with a person like me, and like what I'm saying, like hey, I I, I would keep it away from you. If I know that that ain't what you like, should I smoke outside or I smoke before I come around and see you? When I come, I wash up, I be smelling good, you know, breath ain't kicking or nothing like that. I doubt that you would know I'm a smoker unless you just like a, like real sensitive to the smoke or you just are allergic to smoke. You know what I'm saying? So if, if somebody's into you, I think that they will put forth the effort to not have it around you. That's what I'm trying yeah. to say. So, yeah. but you, but but like like I say, you got your standards, and you already say flat for flat like flat out. If you smoke, I ain't dealing with you. I am not mad at that, and you stick to that. But I would hate for you to block your blessings from somebody who you might be really feeling, and they just got this one little bad habit that might not even affect you in the long run. That's all I'm saying. I'm done. I'm done. I get off my. I no, get off my soapbox. No, Snooty, you you just hit on something because I've had that happen and I, I kid you not for at least let's say maybe five mm, no I'll say maybe six or seven months I did not know um I was dating a smoker like yeah. did not know it at all like he, he never smelled like um we you know, the, the house never smelled like it was always, you know, fresh, clean, like a neat freak. I never knew until one night, um, I stayed the night. And I had, now, keep in mind, I stayed the night before. But this one particular night, I stayed, and he was about to roll up, and he asked me, um, did it bother me? And I'm like, oh, my goodness, wait a minute. You mean to tell me, I'm like, falling head over heels over this smoking dude like i don't do smokers just like um boss chick said oh no that's a turn off like i've never been into the smokers because i have asthma and i don't like the smell of smoke but i kid you not i never knew for like i said maybe six or seven months never knew this man smoked and actually and so kind of you... now go ahead i ain't gonna catch you up go ahead go ahead because i, I, I want to say it, something on that though um, it kind of made me lower, I'm not, well, I shouldn't say lower my standards, but I, I made an exception for him. Because it's like, we're already there. Like, I like everything about this man. And he never brought it around me. Even, we were at his house. And, you know, he asked me, you know, how I felt about it. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I don't know about this. Like, you been smoking? He was like, yeah. And, you know, he... Oh, you remember such and such day? Oh, you remember this? And remember, I'm like, oh, shit, you were smoking this? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, okay. But like I say, because I was really feeling him, man, fuck that smoke. You want me to learn how to roll? I'll roll. <laughs> Look, just as long as you're not sitting here puffing it in my face, um, we good. Do you know why that man did that at that time? Why? Um... <sighs> I've been in that situation where I meet a person and I already know the stigma behind smoking weed. Like if I know for a fact, like when we get to know each other, you cool with smoking or you smoke yourself, then it's one thing. But if I don't know if you smoke and you haven't given me any signs that you smoke, but I'm feeling you. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that shit away from you until the time is right. And so in that situation, like you say, y'all been into the thick of things for like, you know, six months at least. He's feeling you and he has to see that hey if this is going forward i have to now truly be myself because in the beginning i'm gonna be real any nigga they give you the representative well it ain't a catfish no it ain't no i, I won't say that no, no it ain't no it ain't no it ain't see we finna detour we can go there if you really want to go there you want to go there because we can go there we, we gonna say that for something else i'm about to say because i'm telling you Ooh, that, that, that go deep right there, I'm going to tell you. So, it ain't no catfish. The contract is real. And and once I get that pussy, like, I'm, I'm out to get that pussy. And once I get it, we got to renegotiate that contract. It's as simple as that. 
there has to be more to keep me there than just that. But all I'm saying is, in that situation with that guy, he came to you in a time where, hey, I know she's feeling me, I'm feeling her, we got to see what direction this is going in, but I got to be comfortable and I got to be myself. Now, I have been myself, but at the same time, I haven't truly divulged all information about me. So, hey, let me go ahead. I've already tested the water in a sense, so let me go put that out there and see what happened. And he won in that situation because he actually lowered his guard, told you what was real, and boom. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you was with it. So, you know, I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that at all. And I have good conversations. <laughs> hey, hold on. What's up? Huh? You don't fuck him? Wrong hole? Oh, no. I'm oh, he's sorry. He's sorry. Okay. Just give it a hit. Come here. You've never done anal, anal before? Um, once in a blue. Just let it in. Let it in. Sorry, dude. Oh, God. I'll do that. Oh, Oh, no. Oh, oh, that's so good, baby? Yeah. Oh, my God. We're talking about relationships in a sense and deal breakers. So maybe let's uh, switch up a little bit and talk about uh, is porn. Is porn in a relationship? Is that a deal breaker? You know, like w would you consider that cheating or not? Or what are your thoughts on porn in a relationship? Let me let me say it that way. I think we can learn some shit from it. Hell, let's watch and try a new position or some shit. Okay, okay. Like, damn, did you like that scene? Let's reenact that scene right there. Straight up. Hmm. So that means you'll watch it with your partner? For sure. Now, if he I watched it without it you... Be. See, I see, am. I knew you was going to say that. I knew you was going to say that. So if he watched porn without you, you wouldn't be upset about that? Hell no. I think Lois will do better when I come in the room. Be like, oh, what you... Are you in here? Are right, you in? I ain't right, let go. Nah, I wouldn't feel no type of way. I, I wouldn't want it to, um, you know, take over the situation. You know, because... No, you um, can't be no some, porn some people, addict now. Yeah, but think about it. Some people get it. What's the definition of a porn addict? Hold on, wait a minute. What's the definition yeah. of a porn addict? What is that? I mean, a, a bitch who can't live with that, like, you you see this stuff, like, that stuff is real. Like, these sex addicts... Mm. Like, they, they need it. If they're not, like, physically getting their rocks off with someone, they they want to see it. Man, I've seen so many documents on um, sex addicts. I thought it was just a lie. Like, you just like the fuck. Like, come on, call it like it is. But no, I mean, these people really have a problem. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Now, I feel like if you can control it, if, if that's something that you're doing, um, you know, get you in the mood or um, you, you're trying to learn some new tricks or some shit, okay, cool. I mean, we can watch it together. Now, please don't think that I'm just going to sit here, you know, instead of us watching a movie together, every time this damn te um, television come on, we finna watch porn. No. Because then I'm going to get to the point where I'm like... Well, damn, like, are you into me or are you into the chick and you just, you know, playing it out um, with me? I'm a fifth and type of way. But if it's something that we're doing together, I'm cool. You know, I'm willing to learn a couple of tricks. I might show you I can do it better than um, old girl on TV. Okay, okay. So y'all look at it more of a relationship thing. Not not a solo thing. Like you ain't watching porn on your own. He ain't really watching porn on his own. But like, you know, we watch it together. We can learn some things or not. We can turn us on or not. But it's just something that we could do together. Yeah, that, 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 that's like, pretty much what I'm getting from that. Yeah, watch, watching porn on your own is um that's so cheating. Yeah, that's that, that's what the little you know thirteen year old little boys do. Um. You know, little girls trying to figure out what the hell, well, what you're supposed to do. Or, you know, I mean, I can't speak for everyone, speak for myself. Um, when, when it got serious, 
you know, when everybody around here talking about sex, and I'm like, well, how you know how to have sex? I, I know I'm I'm kind of lame. I am. I admit it. Um, but I feel like if you're going to do something, you should be the best at it. And I didn't want to yeah, jump you out there. Be the best hoe. Yeah. yeah. If, if I'm a, listen, if, if I'm a sucking fuck, I'm, I want to be the best. So I'm trying to see well, what I'm supposed to do. I didn't want to get talked about. Like, I grew up around a lot of guys and you see hear them talking about people. Man, she can't even do this. Or she, well, what the hell you want her to do? What? Am I missing something? I thought y'all was happy with just having sex. So, yeah, I got a hold of that stash and it was a wrap. You know, now... These kids got it so much better. I mean, they can just pull up they damn uh, in there on their phone. It. Yeah, it's, it's right there. You don't have to work at it. You don't have to go sneak and go stay the night at somebody's house to, to get a hold of something. Man, please. Yeah, wait till your mama go to sleep and try to wait till she go to work or something and put it on. Oh, please. Yeah. Turn the volume Nothing down on that. your phone. Put your little earbuds in your ear and go for what you know. Yeah. So, I got I got to get in teacher mode for a second. You know, I ain't got no kids or nothing, but, you know, Snooty love the kids. Uh, <laughs> man, I ain't going to get too serious, but I do want to touch on this. So, you say better, I say worse. And the reason I say worse is because I remember the time I actually got to see porn for the first time. I think I was, like, probably, like, what, nine, ten years old or whatever. And some people may say that's young. Some people may say that's old for seeing porn at the first time. I don't know. Um, I can only speak from my, my experience. But I do remember how that, that situation went down. And it wasn't readily available for me. Meaning that when I was younger, I was able to mature and grow. And then go into seeing more porn and how it develops and stuff like that. Meaning like it didn't numb me. I wasn't detached from it. Like, when you have someone who is so young and is being exposed to something like that at such an early age, it can, it can detach them from what sex really is, what love yeah. making really is. So, yeah. it may be more convenient and may be more easy, readily available for them at the touch of their fingertips, but I don't necessarily think that that's such a good thing. Like, the first time I seen porn, it was me and like five of my cousins one of them was like probably four or five years older than me he had a tape he threw it in we was all in the room we like what the fuck is this shit oh my god like like it was crazy no. we lost our mind you know what i'm saying right right i ain't even know i ain't even know these feelings i'm like what so i lost my mind then but then it's like okay and then, okay, every once in a while, you might see a little magazine that your friend might have, or shit, it's, it's like, oh, like I say, there's a whole bunch of niggas in one room, somebody got a cake, they threw it in, like, that, that, and then you got to see it every once in a while, and you was, it, it, it was stimulating, but you wasn't numb to it. Could you imagine being a kid in today's age, growing up, when all you got to do is just type in one word on the internet on your phone? And it's just everywhere, constantly streaming. And I don't yeah. know if how y'all remember, but when I was younger, I was a very horny little individual. And I couldn't get porn readily available. It, the, the most I could get was that fuzzy ass channel on 99 or 97. And every once in a while, that shit would come in. You might see a little boob or you might see some pussy uh, or something that you think is an image. You're like, oh, shit, hold on, hold on, don't mess up, don't mess up, don't, 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 don't mess up, don't mess up. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. You know? Or it's like, right like I, I don't know. Some people may say, oh, that's barbaric or that, that was so ancient and, and, and old. You old man talking. I ain't, I don't feel like I'm old man. I feel like I grew up the right way. You know, like, it, it didn't. Yeah. It didn't tarnish me or, or, or it didn't make me look at sex in a, in, in, in a, okay, what I'm saying is this. I'm just going to just get straight to it. This porn, I think it's more of entertainment. Uh, it may stimulate you, but I look at it more as entertainment. Because if you're getting your sex, like, off of porn, to me some of that shit is just not realistic for real life situations. So saying that if I see everything on porn and I think that this is how I'm supposed to now approach life when it comes to like me having sex with my mate that could be 
sadistic in a sense. Like I'm not even looking at them as a real individual. Um, now there are certain things, yeah, you might learn a few little moves or some strokes or let me do this or let me try this out. That's one thing. But if you're learning your whole sex game from porn, I think that that could be bad if you were young going into it and turn an adult. Maybe now that you're an adult and you understand, you done got some life experience, you done did a few things, you know what's right, what's wrong, and you know, you know how 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 to how to maneuver. I think that that's a little bit better. But just 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 being young and you learning everything from porn, I don't know. That might be that, that that's tough for me. So it's like I'm listening to y'all and it's little things that that, that, I'm, that I'm just picking up on. So you know, I get off like I said, I get off my soapbox, but I just had to say that real quick. You know, what y'all think? I I feel you. I'm 100 percent for a a young child to watch porn and um think this is the way that it's supposed to be they're going to be in for a rude awakening when they actually get into the the act of sex and it's nothing like what you see um on the the videos i mean absolutely nothing like it is supposed to be entertaining um we're grown now and we we know like to look at that and some of that shit is like unrealistic. Like who the fuck's in a bitch? I ain't doing that, you know. But other things is like, hmm. I wonder if I can do this move. You know, we we know how to pick and choose certain things, and we also know that what works for one person may not work for the next person. Like take boss chick and I. I'm pretty sure that boss chick has certain you know uh positions or um you know that she does or something that she would prefer her mate to do that if you came at me like that i'm like uh eh, that really doesn't do anything for me and vice versa but a a child they don't understand that they're they're learning i mean honestly you don't have anyone to teach you how to have sex that's some shit we we got to learn on our own. But they're they're learning it the wrong way. If if you really feel like um this is what it's going to be like. And you know, I mean, some of them may be disappointed. I don't know. I feel like I would be disappointed if and I'm grown. So if if I was looking at this porn that's out there today. If I was basing um sex off of what I see and I, I feel like I'm supposed to have that ooh ah experience like that every time um I know that that shit is a lie so I'll be disappointed yes ma'am <laughs> yes ma'am I would agree I would agree with that boss chick you kind of quiet though man we, we, we ruffling the feathers how you feel Oh no! I mean, I, I totally agree. I mean, my my son don't have a smartphone for that very reason. It's too accessible. I bet a lot of his friends do. You know. Sure do. Mhm. I I I, I like and your I approach. Don't even feel no way, I don't even feel no way tired about it, as the old folks would say. Yeah, no, no, but I, I really appreciate. I really like your approach. Like, I didn't get my first cell phone, and, and this is way back when, so I, it's totally different now in, these, in this generation. Oh, well, he got but I didn't phone, it just ain't smart. See, 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 see you, you, but, but you beat me to it, that's what I was about to say. I didn't get my first cell phone till I was 13, and it was a prepaid phone that had minutes on it, and all I could do was dial, uh, like I could make phone calls on it, um, I could text, I think I could text back then. And if you text, but, but you that had was to it. pay for it, right? Right, like twenty five exactly. in a text or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this was this was before free nights and weekends and all that shit. You know, <laughs> yes. free before six or seven. I mean, free after seven. It was before that. So you I like your approach. For that seven. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I call you from the house phone till 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 that time come straight up. Boy, what you talking about? <laughs> For real. Man, <laughs> listen, if you want me, you better page me, and <laughs> I'm gonna call you back. Like straight up, I, I had that blue no kill. 
I got it for Christmas. It was paid for for the whole month. I want to say it was like maybe sixty dollars for the the pager and for a year um, subscription. I could change the music on it and everything, but you better not call my cell phone unless it was real deal an emergency. Cause you know, nine times out of ten, I'm not going to answer if you calling me before whatever time seven or nine. I think I had nine because you know Verizon that being with that cheap crap. I had Verizon way back in what two thousand one, two thousand. Yeah, that that was my first company. That was my first company, straight up Verizon. That was before uh, y'all could send them little nudie pictures and shit. That was way before then. Nah, it went, oh, oh, speaking of nudie pictures, what's up with these dick flicks? I mean, dick dick. <laughs> hey, man, do, do y'all get those? Like, 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 as a, as a, as a female, do y'all get them? Be honest, do y'all get I don't dick anymore. Dick? I used to, yeah. Was, was this my request? I, I, don't, I don't mean from no boyfriend. I mean from Joe Blow, like, because we're, we're talking and, and he feels like if I show you my package, maybe that that's going to make you um, want to holler at me for real. No, bitch, that made me want to run. Like, because now I see what you really about. So they were unsolicited? Like, like you never asked for them? You never request them? It's just like somebody that pop up and just send you one? Listen, man. Tell the truth, man. No, I, you know... If it's coming out of my mouth, I ain't got no reason to lie to you. I'm talking about straight up, like, we're we're talking. Like, we are not having sex. We are not um, in a relationship. This is you and I talking, trying to get to know each other. I'm trying to figure out if I want to, you know, take it a step further with you. And you send me pics. And I don't mean just one person. I've had this done. Uh, I want to say three, may, maybe four, but I know three, three guys, and I don't mean no jit. Like the last time it happened, this guy was mm, 34, 35 maybe, and then I was, you know, feeling some type of way because he wasn't even that damn big. I'm like, wait a minute. You sending me pics for real? You sending me pics and um, you looking like this? No, you. From my personal experience, I look like I always tell you, I cannot speak for everyone else. But it seemed like the ones who have the smaller package, they be so quick to show it. It was cold last night. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you think it was yours? <laughs> hey man, I, I mean, oh, oh, y'all, y'all, oh, oh, y'all too much, man, y'all too much. Listen, um, bossy, have you ever experienced the the dick pic that that you did not ask for? Yeah, but we was in a relationship. It was one of them things like that one, shit don't count. No, I'm that random. Right now, look, I cut. Listen, that shit like that. That's what I want. I want they to send me a picture. And but I didn't like, ask for it though. Uh, I'm at work and I open up my phone and I'm like, Whoa, I don't care about a walking by. Listen, if if I'm in a relationship and I'm at work, I get a dick pic. That means bring your ass straight home. Don't go shopping. You ain't even got to go to the gym. I'm finna work your ass out. Like, I'm cool with that. Hell, I may, you know, I don't, let me not tell too much. Let's just say this. Um, when my man opens his phone, if it's a picture, he, <laughs> he knows that <laughs> he can't open his phone in front of people because you never know what, I may send. I mean, it doesn't always have to be a full nude picture, but you just never know what I'm going to send you. I'm okay with that. We're in a relationship. I mean, from the the guys who you're not in a relationship with. So 
someone just saying, "Hey, look at me." Okay. All right. So so let's oh, touch on that. that. But but okay okay. So she answered that. Okay. I I I do get that. But I am curious as to like when you did receive those pictures from your man. You know what I'm saying? And it was unsolicited. It was, you weren't even expecting that shit. How did that make you feel? Well, I was right on, on, on the spot. I was like, damn, I need to clock out. I need to go home a little early today. Oh, my boy done sent that bad signal. Okay. All right. Straight up. <laughs> straight up. Don't collect. What, what's that? Monopoly. Don't collect. Go straight to the jail. Shit, I'm trying to go straight home. It ain't no stop it. I'm not sitting here trying to, um, you know, have a 30-minute conversation with no co-workers. Bitch, I got to go. I don't know what All you right. got at home, but uh, I know what I got at home. All right. Well, then, if it, see, but see, now that makes me think that if um, if a guy knows that, like, like I see the way you, 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 you both will react to something like that from your mate. But if this guy that's a random, he's not your mate, but maybe y'all just kind of, you know, he you you're entertaining him as far as giving him a little conversation, giving him a little cooperation or whatever. And then like if he know that that's kind of that worked in the past with a relationship he done been in, why wouldn't he send you that throwing the bait out there to see if you're gonna bite? You know what I'm saying? Because it seems as though y'all enjoy that. It's just from the right person. Because if it's just the wrong person, you don't want it. But it's not saying that you don't want dick pics. Period. It's just that. It got to be the right situation, right person. That's what I'm getting from this. Yeah. Am I am I yeah. inaccurate on that? No, you're, That's you're absolutely correct. See, so my boy, so so really, when it comes to that, them boys, they throwing that bait out there. And they feel like, okay, she said the right thing. I done made her grin a little bit. Maybe they might not be suave with it or smooth with it, but, shit, I'm going to send this dick pic. We're going to show her this package, like, show her what, it's, what, what, what it is. What, I mean, maybe, could, could that be it? Audience. No, like, my thing is you have to know your audience. And you know who you can try like that, or you should know. My thing is if I haven't given you anything to go off of, like, I've never seen. Uh, nope, 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 nope. I, I'm cutting you off like you cut her off. Nope, I ain't letting you slide okay. with that. Let, let okay. me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because y'all both, both of y'all, and I'm, I know, she, I, okay, boss chick, I know Lois ain't speaking for you, but I'm putting y'all together on this one. Y'all both just said y'all got unsolicited pics from your man, from the guy that you with. This other dude is giving you unsolicited pictures as well. So, Did how you can you now, man? true, but he trying to fuck. He trying to get there with you, and you've and you been entertaining this conversation. Y'all, y'all been going back and forth, and everything good. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like parameters. Ooh. Privileges. Talk to me on that for a second. What you mean? Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. I mean, because everybody knows with certain titles come certain privileges. Mm. When you have boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, on up the ladder, you can do certain things that Folks who just kicking it can and can't do. So, you know, if that's my boyfriend or my spouse or whatever, oh, yeah, you send them at any time. Solicit it or unsolicit it. But if we just kicking it or whatever and, you know, you cross town and all of a sudden, you know, you like, you feeling yourself and, you you know, you want to slide through or want a little bit so you're going to send me this picture. Well, we ain't on no level like that. You you don't have that privilege. If you don't I have that title, like, that's the privilege you don't have. Yeah. I, I feel like they, they should only be um, sent if asked for. Like, before you actually cross that line. Like, once you start having sex, like, that opens up a whole nother level. But if we have not crossed that line yet, uh, I think we, we need to be having a conversation about it. Or I know that sound kind of childish, like, damn, you mean, mean to tell me I have to have permission? But you don't want to come off wrong. And, like, when I did receive those pictures, I took it as that's what you about. Like, yeah, you, you make it seem like you're trying to get to know me and you want to, you know, build something with me. 
But then here, here it goes. You're sending me this picture that I did not ask for, and I feel like that's all you about. Hmm. Yeah, kind of go back to that whole premise of if that rubber come off, we go together. <laughs> and if we go together, no holes bars. You can do whatever you want to do, how you want to do it, when you want to do it. I like I mean, that. Yeah, pretty much. Like, because I'm going to do whatever it takes to keep my relationship um, A1. And I feel like my mate should do the same. So, I mean, anything within reasons. Let's, let's throw that out there. Within reasons. But, yeah, you, you get a pass. Like, when we're in a relationship, I mean, anything within reason goes. But if we're not in a relationship, okay, that's like, Snooty, you're, you're dealing with this chick. You know, y'all just conversing, um, nothing major. You, you kind of feel no whatever. But she does not have the right to just show up at your spot, correct? Yeah, you get that established from the beginning, though. I feel like that's not even something that I should have to tell you. I mean, even though oh, we nah, know... Nah, nah, I disagree. Have, I disagree with that. Well, this is how I look at it. Common sense is, is not so common. Everyone no, not does all. not have it. But I feel like that's just... That should be like one of the golden rules. You don't just pop up at somebody's house. I Not agree. I agree here. with that, but you can't put that on everybody. That could be your standard. Somebody else might not live like that, and they feel like, okay, if we in this together, I ain't got no re reason why I can't come to your shit without without you without you um, you know, saying I can come or not. That's why I say, you know, communication is key, and I got to get that yeah. established like from the beginning. You know, like, nah, I don't do no pop ups, and the first time you do a pop up, there will be consequences in a negative way. Like, straight up, I ain't saying I'm going to leave you, but you're going to definitely understand that this is not what you do. Because I don't yeah. get down like that if that's what I don't like. Some people don't mind a pop-up. I'm going to be real with you. It depends on your relationship and how you and how, and how y'all living. So, it depends, you know. Communication, man. You know, what's right for me yeah. might be wrong for you, you know. So, I, that, that's why I say I can't just give that blanket rule of, nah, you, if we dealing with each other, just... There ain't no pop-ups. You're supposed to know that. Well, some people don't know that. Some people do know that. No, some people don't mind it. we with each other and we exclusive, I roll up when I feel like it. You roll no, up when you feel like it. I mean, we're exclusive, so what's the problem? No, you know but, but see, the, the question I asked was if y'all were just dealing with each other, you know. Cool. Just oh, no, no. Cool. You can't come around here. No stuff. And see, I, I, I get both of those. I get both of those. All I'm saying is we dealing or we ain't dealing. I establish that and I talk. I mean, obviously I podcast, so I like to talk. It don't matter, it don't matter to me. But I will like, yeah, I don't, I don't do the pop-ups, you know. And, and, and I might not even say it so bluntly, but I'm going to figure out a way to tell you and you won't understand where I'm coming from and then you have a choice. I never take your options away from you. So now you have a choice. It's got to like pop-ups. If you can deal with that, we can keep pushing. If you can't, it's cool. Then you got to, you know, step off. It's your choice. But I have already laid out my ground rules of this is how I get down. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, and, and I also feel boss chick as far as saying, hey, if we in this together and we in it for the long haul, I shouldn't have to call and ask you every time I come over. You know, if I'm in the area or, or, or I just want to come over. Yeah, I, you know, I might run it by you, but shit, I got a key anyway, so I'm coming over. What the fuck? You oh, know? Yeah. So if you got a key, that shit don't count. Like, you got a key. I mean, with, without a key, I would call um, and, and say, hey, are you home? I'm, I'm about to come over. If you still asking for permission. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I'm not asking. I'm just telling you well, I'm you about to come. Yeah, but are you free is the question. You know what I'm saying? It's more well, of, hey, okay. I'm on my way. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. There is no, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. There is no, are you free? I, I should not have said that. Um, hey, I just wanted to make sure you was home before I drive my ass over oh, the way. Oh, you mean without the key? Yes, without the key. With a key. Oh, because with the key, I give two fucks. If I want to come, I'm coming. Yeah, but I'm there I mean, or not. 
But I, I feel like exactly if 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 you're going okay, you have to have a purpose to go over there. Um, I mean, you know, have you. Oh, oh, I just kind of want to get away and go chill somewhere else. I mean, a nigga go chill, man. A nigga okay, will go now, chill. Now, straight now, up. Yeah. But, but still, that's, that's your purpose. Right. I'm okay, okay, okay. That, that's still a purpose. I mean, in my opinion, I feel like it's a purpose. My purpose okay. for uh, going over there was because I just need a different scenery. Hmm. Or... Um, you know, I'm I'm trying to come see you or, or whatever the case may be. If y'all on that level, you know, to where you have a key, you got to be trust there. I'm not just going to give you a key to my shit. And I know you can come over there at any time. So, I mean, the, the trust has to be there. But what I'm saying is I, I feel like I won't just go over to someone's house knowing, okay, yes, I got a key, but he's not there. Like, what am I going over there for? I gotta have some kind of purpose. I'm not going to snoop. Now, if I don't have a key, I'm going to announce myself. Hey, I'm just calling to make sure you home. I'm about to come over. If we're just kicking it and we're not in a relationship, then it's different. Hey, you know, what you got going on? Yeah, Do you want some company? Yes. Um, you know, are you up for company or whatever? You know, it's, it's levels to it. But I well, definitely you say levels. I think you do it because yeah. it's a common courtesy, and that's how you would want to be treated. Like you, like, like yeah. you, you, you're treating them the way you would want to be treated. So if you don't have a key and they don't have a key, but y'all dealing with each other, you would expect that person to do the same thing that you're doing. Like, like so that, yeah. that, that's that, that's what it sounds like to me. Yes, because I don't do pop up. Like I don't. You don't. But if you no, ain't communicated no, I, with I, that I, other person, what if they pop up on you? Would you look at them a certain kind of way? Listen, I let it be known. I'm sorry. Like, don't don't think that I'm a sneaky person. Like, if you don't trust me, if you really want to see what's going on, okay, you can drive by the house and, and see if there's any other vehicle or whatever. But do not just do that pop up. I'm just over here just to see what you got going on. Like, because I know in, in deep inside of us, we all have those questions and we want to know what's really going on. Um, man, have you dude, ever... Dude, we have, different, man. Huh? We di- I, we different because like I'm a firm believer. Just because my car outside don't mean I'm home, and just because my shit gone don't mean I ain't here. Like exactly. I, I, I'm, I'm one I of them types. The Listen, man, I'm gonna tell you how how bad I am. I can be inside my house. My car is right there in front of the door, but because you popped up and you didn't announce yourself, mm-hmm. I'm not even going out to the door. Yep. Yep. You'll learn. <laughs> You'll learn some kind of way. And I wish you would be mad later on. I wish you would be mad. Nobody told you to bring your ass to my house. I don't know. You know, I would like to go around the room, round around the table one time. Um, you know, can ladies and ashtrays. Um, rendezvous with the W. Got Lois Lane. Got um, Boss Chick. Oh. Do appreciate you both sliding through. But uh, you know, Boss Chick is our guest tonight, so I'm gonna give you the floor first. Is there anything that you want to leave us with? Well, I mean, I, I appreciate the love, appreciate the opportunity to come through. Um, hope that the listeners could have gotten some some tangible things, you know, some things they can take away with them and use to better themselves or, or, or someone close to them that they know. So it was it was definitely a pleasure. It was definitely a pleasure. Man, it was a pleasure having you. Um, I really enjoyed this conversation. And, I mean, if you're open to it, I would like for you to come back. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, oh, we, sure, no we can possibly set something up and, you know, have you back on. You know, maybe some different topics. Uh, you know, just just have some fun. You know, just loose talk. That's what we do. All right. For sure. Let me know. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up, Lois. How you doing? You, uh, you want to leave us with anything? You already know it's the same thing. For every action, there's a reaction. That real now. <laughs> all right, all right. So we made it. We did it. Um, well, Snooty, ladies and gentlemen, uh, y'all can reach us snootybagpod gmail dot com. Snootybagpod at gmail dot com. Uh, full with us on the Facebook page, Candy Ladies and Ashtrays. That's our uh, Candy Ladies and Symbol Ashtrays with a Z. And we out. Wiz Wiz. 
Yo, that's the dancer that Janelle hired for Vita's party. Yo, pull over, man. I, I want to peep this guy. I can't let any old muscle-bound, booty-shaking chump dance at my baby's party. Come on. Come on, kid. Be for real, man. We got a lot to do, man. We got three days to the wedding. Three days, man. We ain't got no time to be worried about <laughs> the competition. Yo, a uh, kid, man. Dog, I don't mean no harm, but man, your shit's over, man. Do you know who night it is? That's Henry Charles. Think. I went to high school with him, man. The boy is large. Took showers with him, man. His shit is huge. He must be from Africa. I'm talking about Shabba? He shit is just huge, man. Wait a minute, wait. You in the shower checking out his Jimmy? No. Dude, look, it's play. I think your cousin needs some serious counseling, okay? There's no question about that, but seriously, man, sisters do be sweating that brother, man. Sweating him something awful, man. I'm telling you, man, he drives the honeys crazy, man. Look at that line. Look at all those girls, man. And guys in the line, too, so you know how big it is. Yo, man, the wedding might be off once Vita peeps a peek at the pole that brother's packing. Should try and say that three times. Better believe that. Let it go. Okay, all right. All right. You're not packing, are you? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm hung low. Stay out of my personal business. Who you with? Uncle Vesta. Who you with? Come in. You okay, Aunt Lucy? What is all that noise downstairs? Oh. You and the fellas came by for kids' bachelor party. And what about this movie you brought me? Oh, that was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on Lucy. That's no turtle, that's ass. Be in touch, Aunt Lucy. Call us if you need us. See ya. 1637 Blast Avenue. Got disturbances now in control. Oh, I'm gonna kill those little guys. This is your house? Uh, yes. Party's gotta stop. You're disturbing the peace. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Hold on, Officer Evans. Um, my man here, he's getting married tomorrow, man. I'm just trying to send him off here in style. Um, could you, uh... Are you married? Yeah. Come on, man. Think about it. The night before you lost your freedom, you realize that night, that's gonna be the last night you was gonna be hanging out with your homies, chasing after the honeys. No more nothing, man. Just you, the TV, and her. Come on, man. Come on. You people have a nice evening.